owner has bought in the Santa or in any right bazaar. Most type of plastics are known as thermosetting plastics. Comparison, there are three types. Up, down, right, left. I am not inferior to anyone. We are Clara. You are top on the Congratulations. I want to be a leader. Yes, I am not inferior to anyone. We are Clara. A wonderful good evening to one and all. This is Vamshi Farum from Narsambet. I am studying 8th class. Today I would like to teach biology in the topic is production and management of food from animals. And first of all you want that production. What is production? Production means nothing but produce. Produce anything or producing anyone. And next one management. Management is nothing but manage the anything or manage somebody. And you learn that what is production and what is management. Now we are enter into the lesson that our lesson is production and management of food from animals. Our lesson name is production and management of food from animals. Production and management Management of food from animals. So friends, have you completed your lunch? What you have eaten today lunch? Yes, food. What is today's lunch curry? Yes, brinjal. Have you eaten? Egg, how can you get your egg? How can, who produce the egg? Which animal produce the egg? Do you know? Yes, hen is producing the egg. egg. And do you know what animal produce the meat? Yes, it's absolutely correct. The meat is produced by goat and sheep. In that first one, we going to discuss animal husbandry. Animal husbandry. Animal husbandry means providing food, protection and breeding of animals is called animal husbandry. See here picture one, one dairy farm is there. In that all the buffaloes are stand in a row and they, what are they doing? Yes, they are eating. What they are eating? Food. What is their food? The grass is their food and pro providing food shelter. Here we providing shelter. So this is called animal husbandry. And also if we provide food like that in that canal, the, the food is keeping. We keep then animals can eat. Then it is called animal husbandry. Not only providing food, shelter, protection, breeding of animals, providing and Taking care of animals and taking care of health of the animals is known as a animal husbandry. In animal husbandry, there are number of animals are there. For example, cow and buffalo, goat, sheep, hen. All the domesticate animals are we read in our daily life. For example. Buffalo. Buffalo. Cow. Goat. Sheep. The four animals are giving us food. So, 
they providing food so we can say that the sheep goat cow buffalo are providing food and also it is the sources of food which we eat daily life and that animal husbandry taking care of animals is very important and if we in our daily life you have seen friends that so we we rear so many animals for different purposes for example hen is reared for eggs and meat and buffalo is reared for milk and the cow is reared for milk and goat is reared for meat and sheep is reared for meat is it correct yes you see it is absolutely correct and next one since long time man used animals not only for obtaining food but also for agriculture transportation etc the animal the early man realized this and domesticated the wild animals for his betterment see here friends since long time from long ago, long long ago ancient times the man used animals not only for obtaining food but also for say agriculture agriculture and transportation and last one food we learned that domesticated animals ready for food and now we are going to learn what are the animals ready for agriculture and what are the animals ready for transportation what are the animals ready for food let's let's go next animals ready for milk cow buffalo and animals ready for meat hens goats sheep see here friends animals ready for milk means cow can give us milk and buffalo also give us milk the food is divided into two types one is milk and then second one is meat first one is first one animals ready for milk animals ready for milk is cow and buffalo and next one animals ready for meat animals ready for meat hens goats sheep have you didn't eat the chicken have you didn't eat meat yes you eaten it is twice in a monthly yes or no yes how can we eat by the goats produces meat and hens also produces meat yes or no yes next animals ready for agriculture bulls ox and animals ready for transportation horse and donkey animals is ready for agriculture have you ever seen agricultural fields bulls and ox are using for plowing yes or no like that and next one animals ready for transportation in ancient times ancient times animals ready for transportation transportation they are horse and donkey for example horse in ancient days horse is used for transportation because horse and donkey used for transportation horse and donkey is used for transportation have you ever seen the horse cart yes you have seen and donkey is didn't carry bags heavy bags have you didn't seen yes you have seen this and next one is supplying clear and hygienic shelter for animals are very very important issue in animal husbandry and supplying clear supplying clear supplying clear and hygienic shelter so 
playing clear and hygienic shelters for animals. Animals is very, is very important in animal husbandry. See here, supplying clear and hygienic shelters for animals is very, very important in animal husbandry. Because without supplying clear and hygienic shelter, the animals can't have healthy and wealth. By supplying clear and hygienic shelter, clear and hygienic shelter, the, our animals can grow excellent, they grow healthy and they can give us milk. Yes or no? Yes. And next one. Supplying clear and hygienic shelter for animals are very important issue in animal husbandry. And next one is clear. Generally, villagers send their cattle to rear or the places where grass is easily available. See the pictures. First picture is the sheep are eating the food where the grass is easily available. And second picture, see here, three persons are rearing the sheep and they are travelling one place to another to find out the clear and well and good food for the sheep and see here without food have you have you live no like that the without food the cattle also don't live so Generally, villagers send their cattle to rear the rear the cattle where the grass is easily available. But nowadays, this is decreasing because of some farmers keep their because of that farmers keep their cattle in their own sheds because of the farmers keep their cattle in their own sheds. You, I think you got one doubt. How can they eat the food? Yes, it is absolutely correct. And the farmers supply the fodder. Fodder means food. No, fodder is nothing but food. Fodder is nothing but food. Fodder is nothing but food. They supply their food to their shelters only. Yes or no? Have you seen? Have you have? Have you have? Have you have to cattle in your village? Have you seen any cattle in your village? I think you you your family has a cattle. Yes or no? Yes, it's absolutely correct. And next one is next one is. Milk production. Next one is milk production. Now let's go to learn the milk production. Milk production is nothing but the production. The we produce the milk in our daily life. Have you seen milk? Yes, cows, cows and buffaloes. Buffaloes are rare for milk. Yes or no? Some, some minutes before you learn this. Yes or no? Have you understand? Yes. The cows and buffaloes are rare for milk. And the, do you know how, what, what the, lit, how many liters they can give us? They give 2 to 5 liters of milk per a day. Have you seen? Have you count? I am giving that you you notice you note that how many liters of the milk the cows and buffaloes are giving and mostly in our the cows are the 
The first one is Murra. This is mostly available in our Telangana state. And Haryana. Haryana cow. This is found in Haryana. And this is the Indian This is the Indian species. This is our Telangana. And last one foreign is Jersey and Jersey and Holstein. Now let's see the pictures of Jersey and Holstein. Jersey is a foreign country which reigned in England and the Holstein which reigned in Denmark are the foreign varieties. They can give 25 liters of they can give 25 liters of they can give 25 liters of milk per day. And see here the Murra give 8 liters. This, this is also good quantity that means maximum 12 liters. Maximum 12 liters. And these are the, this is Murra in our, it is mostly found in our Telangana state. And this is the Haryana which is found in Haryana state. And the last one for foreign varieties are Jersey and Holstein. They found in, they can give good quantity of milk of 25 liters per day. And next one, these are the foreign varieties, Jersey which is found in England and Holstein which is found in Denmark. And next one is, milk is used to prepare cheese, kova, curd, milk, <coughs> milk powder and other milk products. See here my dear friends, See here my dear friends, the milk is used for prepare cheese and kova, butter, curd, milk powder, etc. And have you ever seen friends cheese? Have you ever seen cheese and kova, butter, curd, milk powder, etc. I think you already see this, these types of varieties. Yes or no? Yes. <coughs> see here friends. And next one is, there are number of dairy farms, farms in our state. The milk in dairy farm is collected from households and pasteurization. Do you know what is pasteurization? The, do you know, first of all, what is milk, what is households, do you know, households milk collecting center, do you know? Yes, you have observed that milk collectors, milk collecting centers in in your village. Have you have you seen your milk collecting center in your village? Yes. And next one is milk collecting from. See the picture. The milk is collected from the all the households, and they are they are pouring a milk together, and also. They stand in a queue, yes or no? Yes. One child is pouring the milk into a bowl. The milk collector had collected the milk and what they do? Do you know anybody? Yes. They can do the pasteurization. Do you know what is pasteurization? Next, we are, learning, we are going to learn what is pasteurization.
Pasteurization. Pasteurization means nothing but next pasteurization means nothing but in this process milk is heated at a particular temperature 72 degrees celsius for a definite period of 30 minutes after the milk was being cooled to below 10 degrees celsius have you understand yes i can explain more about it take a one bowl and keep a fire it's not it's a gas stove or firewood or anything heat this and also take milk this is milk this is a fire this is a fire this is a milk and this milk is heated to 70 to 70 72 degrees celsius and do you know how much time we take to heat this yes it is absolutely correct it is 30 minutes we heat the milk at the particular temperature is 72 degrees celsius and in a particular time that is 30 minutes after this we we cooled it below the below below the 10 degree celsius have you understand this is called pasteurization and also why do we want to, to use and why do we want to do the pasteurization means we first of all we have so many bacteria bacteria are microorganisms in the milk how can we remove the bacteria and microorganisms means we heat the milk at a definite period is 72 degrees celsius and definite period is 30 minutes and after this cool it if you cool it to 0 degrees celsius and again the bacteria and microorganisms swarm into the milk so you must you must cool into below the 10 degrees celsius only not 0 degrees celsius and next one is livestock the animals that are reared for milk and agriculture are called livestock do you know do you know friends the if we see here that in the picture first picture is first picture is ox the ox is used for plowing in the agriculture and the second picture is holstein cow and that that holstein cow give us milk yes or no yes if we if we have two this two animals cow cow if we have two animals ox and holstein cow we can Red two animals together, then we have livestock. Means, livestock means for the animals which are reared for milk and agriculture. And transportation. See here friends, the, the animals which are reared for milk and agriculture and transportation is called livestock keeping and next one is and next one is for having high milk producing varieties livestock keeping is very important. Traditional livestock are becoming depleting because of hybrid varieties. See here I understand this. Because of hybrid, hybrid, the hybrid cow can give milk and it is used for transportation, it is used for transport and it can also use it for agriculture. It 
India can also use for agriculture. Yes or no? Yes. If we have our traditional species, ox, it is only used for ploughing. Yes or no? Yes, it is only used for ploughing. This ox can't give us milk. Yes or no? Yes. And next one is Murra. It is mostly found in our Telangana state. It is rare for milk. If we have two hybrid varieties can give us milk and also it is used for transportation and agriculture. And see here, ox is used for only ploughing and Murra is only for milk. So, because of hybrid varieties, livestock keeping is very important. Means, livestock means, have you understand? Livestock means the animals which are ready for milk and agriculture is called livestock. See here, hybrid is equal to 2. This one cow is equal to this one and second cow. This cow and this cow. Yes or no? Yes. Because of this this only one cow do three works and this one one ox do only one work and this one cow go done only one work. So, the livestock is very important because of hybrid varieties. And next one is in our country people believe that the cattle rearing is not only our economic source. Cattle rearing, cattle are part and parcel of our culture. Have you understand friends? This is in our country people believe that the cattle rearing is not only for not only economic source. Cattle are part and parcel of our culture. See here friends. See here friends. If in our daily life if you have a pet animal and if you if you take a cow in our daily life we if we we, we rear them lovingly. Yes or no? If sometimes we can put a names also. And if we call with those names, they can listen our words. Yes or no? Yes. In that, I have, I have a dog. Uh, the, the dog name is Raju. I, I call that, I call the dog with the name is Raju. Then it is Absolutely listen and come to me, towards me. This is called cattle are part and parcel of our culture. Sometimes see here in our daily life some, fest some festivals are coming then we can decorate them also. We can decorate them with beautiful colors and beautiful colors. And next one is meat. Processing from animals is another side of animal production. Uh, another side means another another directions, another sides of our country. The meat processing, the the producing of meat is a another side is animal production. And beef is from bulls and buffaloes. Beef is from see here. Beef is from bulls and buffaloes. Beef means beef means the food the food are meat. The bulls and buffaloes are giving meat. Yes or no? Yes. And food are meat. The beef is beef means the food that Coming from bulls and buffaloes is called beef. The food is obtaining and coming from the bulls.